a sequence has n term 3n square. Write down the first three terms of this sequence. We're going to substitute the number 1 into the n as the first term. And we're going to substitute number 2 as the second sequence into the n and number 3 into the n for the third term. So, we are producing 3, 12, and 27. Here is for the part C. Find the nth term for each of those sequences. The first term is actually 13, and 16 as the second term. Now, we want to find what is the term the term row is by using 16 minus 13, and uh, we are getting here is actually 3. We are using this formula as the nth term for a plus in the bracket n minus 1 multiplied by the d. Now, a stands for the first term, d stands for the term to term rule, while n is stands for the n. We're going to substitute the whole thing here by first term a stands for 13. And the term to term rule is actually referring to 3. So we are getting the thing now in order. The final answer here would be 3n plus 10. 3n plus 10. Now we come to the part C2. We want to find the nth term. This is our first term. The value is 3. The value of the second term is 17. And the value of the third term is 55. And so on. We want to find what is the first difference between the two terms. That produces 14. And the next one is actually 38. And so on for the following terms. These are our differences. Now, look carefully. Each of the terms is actually with different... The differences is not the same. It means that the term to term rule here is not the same. And now, we go on to produce the second difference that would be 24. The gap in between 38 and 14 is actually 24. And the so on is actually 36 and 48. Now we look at the numbers again. The term to term rule is still not on the same number. So we go on to produce the third difference that would be here. 36 minus 24 is actually 12. 48 minus 36 is actually 12. Now, 12 and 12 is actually we are producing the term to term rule as a constant. We are getting here three differences. So, that means that you will be getting n cubed as the answer for our n term. So, now, what does it mean? It means that if I want to find the solution for this question, n cube has to be the foundation. Now, we are going to try an error for the numbers now. Look at the second term here. It's actually the value of the second term is actually 17. We substitute 2 as the second term into the n and we are getting 8. But here is actually 17. If I multiply by 2, that means we are getting 16. It is still not 17. In order to get 17, I have to add 1 into it, and that is the answer. So, this will be the answer of our solution here.